Swimming with whales has been described as one of the most breathtaking experiences on Earth. And today you get to try it out. As you get so close to these majestic beasts that you can almost pat them, you realize you've never felt this in touch with nature before. But then, everything goes dark, and your body is tossed around aggressively. You've just been scooped up in a whale's mouth. You struggle to find your way out, but what are your chances against a 15-ton animal getting swallowed by a whale? Most people would tell you that being swallowed by a whale is an immediate death sentence, and they'd have good reason for it. But that doesn't mean that survival is impossible. Just ask Rainer Schimpf. In 2007, he was gobbled up by a whale while taking pictures off South Africa's coast. He immediately held his breath until the whale promptly spit him back out. But what if you weren't released so quickly? Here are some ways that you could get out alive. Types of whales. Oh, and just to be clear, there's only one type of whale that could theoretically swallow a human whole. Most people would think that's the blue whale. Blue whales have giant mouths that could fit hundreds of people inside, and they keep their mouths wide open as they travel through the ocean. But the baleen plates inside their mouths would prevent a person from being swallowed. Even if someone did make it past those, the blue whale's esophagus is only 25 centimeters, 10 in, across, too small to allow a human through. The only whales that would have no trouble swallowing us humans are sperm whales, so let's see how we can avoid becoming their dinner. Number 1. Curl up into a tight ball. First, curl up. Bring your arms and legs into your body as tightly as you can and lower your chin to your chest. You need to curl up into the tightest ball you can. This will minimize your body's surface area and decrease the chance you'll get chomped up by the whale's teeth. Sperm whales have 18, 26 teeth on each side of their jaws and each tooth weighs up to one kilogram, 2.2 pounds. Even if you were curled up into a ball, You'd still be lucky to make it through the mouth without losing an arm or leg, but at least you'd have a chance. Number two, don't panic. Second, don't panic. Yes, we realize that it's easier said than done, but there is no time for fear. In a situation like this, you have to use your instincts. Try to feel around in the mouth before you get swallowed. It will be extremely dark, but if you can find something to hold on to, you won't get burned and digested in any of the whale's four stomachs. You could try to grab onto the walls of the esophagus, but that would be very difficult as it is covered in mucus. Number three, wear a protective suit. Third, wear a protective suit. Some people might think you're a little paranoid when you show up to swim with the whales in your elaborate wetsuit, but it could very well save your life. You would want a suit that's resistant to hydrochloric acid so that you could survive in the whale's stomachs. One type of suit that might do the trick is called a neoprene wetsuit. There is some evidence that it could withstand the harsh environment in the stomach. You would also need a breathing tube and an oxygen reservoir because there wouldn't be any breathable air. Number four, wait to be spit up. Fourth, wait to be spit up. It worked for our friend Rainer Schimpf, so why couldn't it work for you? He was lucky enough to be spit out before he was swallowed, but in your case, it's going to be a little more difficult and gross. Luckily for you, sperm whales need to vomit every several hours. So if you were able to survive long enough, you could be spit up with it. But don't get too excited, because surviving all depends on where you get spit out. Whales can swim at a depth of 100 m, 3,290 feet whereas the human body can only swim at a depth of 20 m, 65 feet, without assistance. So if the whale's thinking of spewing you out on the deep part of his swim, you've probably got a better chance living through it if you just stay inside. Number five, avoid sperm whales. And finally, avoid sperm whales. It might seem like common sense, but if you want to avoid being swallowed by a whale, how about you just stay away from the only ones that can swallow humans? If another type of whale scoops you up in their mouth, you'll have a much better chance of survival. Take the humpback whale, for instance. When this whale approaches a potential meal, such as a school of krill, they propel themselves forward with a burst of energy, open their mouths wide, and let whatever is in their way flood in. When something larger than krill enters their mouths, they'll use their tongues to force it back out. Can whales swallow humans? For anyone scared of the ocean or Bible story, science can put some of those fears to rest. And yes, you would suffocate or be crushed or burned in acid if that happened. Thankfully, the likelihood of you ending up in a sperm whale's digestive tract is essentially zero. The sperm whale is massive and regularly feeds on giant squid. If you were digested by a sperm whale, parts of you may resurface in ambergris, a waxy substance that eases the passing of hard objects like squid beaks. 
As shown in Finding Nemo, humpbacks and other large species of whale are filter feeders and eat krill and small fish. The video points out that their throats aren't big enough to even swallow human body parts, much less a whole human. But the risk isn't just if you're swallowed. Their mouths are big enough to hold a human. If they dive with you in there, you could suffocate. A lobster diver that found himself in a whale's mouth survived because he had scuba equipment to help him breathe. Two kayakers also ended up in a whale's mouth. Humpback whales use a strategy called bubble net feeding. They swim to the surface with their huge mouths open in order to catch schools of fish. Anything in the way also ends up in their mouths, and the kayakers were much too close. Hopefully the researchers trying to translate sperm whale language are making progress so we can avoid such unpleasantries. What about the stat at the beginning of the video? that you have a one in a million chance of a whale swallowing you. Since there's no reason to think anyone ever has been, this is closer to one in 107 billion. If you end up in the giant's mouth, quickly try to grab onto whatever there is to hold onto, either the blunt teeth of a sperm whale or the baleen of a humpback. Try to swim out before you get sucked inside. Once in, there's little chance of coming back out in one piece. If you do end up inside the throat, the best thing you can do is to create such a fuss inside the mouth, throat, or even stomach that the whale will really want to spit you out. Kick, scratch, bite, stomp, and push with all your force. Or, if you have any sharp object or nasty chemical on you, this is your time to shine. Try to cut or poison the creature to persuade it to stick to his squid diet and spit you out. Never thought I'd recommend anyone to poison a whale. Although, if a fighting giant octopus can't make it out, your efforts might be hopeless. If you do get spat out, your problems are far from over, because the giant may have gone down a few thousand feet more, which means your chances of reaching the surface alive are close to nil. If this happens, see if you can see the surface of the water. Otherwise, follow the oxygen bubbles from your nose, keeping in mind that a fast ascend from deep down may also prove fatal, though you may not have much choice after having been stuck inside the whale's mouth for a while. It is extremely, extremely unlikely for a whale to swallow us, whether accidentally or not. The main reason is that despite its supersized body parts, the throat of most whale species is way too small to swallow something even nearly as big as a human being. The reason for this is that most whales only live off krill and other small creatures, and they have a great technique to catch them. So there you have it, a glimpse into one of nature's most extraordinary encounters. Will you dare to dive into these mysterious waters? Stay tuned as we journey deeper into the world beneath the waves, uncovering secrets of our planet's magnificent marine life. Next time, we're venturing into the realm of the ultimate ocean predator, the shark. Will we outswim or become dinner? Find out on our next thrilling adventure.